Hey guys, and welcome back to Film Excitement. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are going to find out why Gordon Ramsay is being sued by former owners of restaurants. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. There are many restaurants who have sued Chef Gordon Ramsay. Oceana Grill in New Orleans was featured on the fourth season of Kitchen Nightmares in 2011, a show in which the famous chef shames cooks and restaurant owners with failing businesses and filthy kitchens in the hopes of reviving their chances. The seafood restaurant, which is located just off of Bourbon Street, claims, however, that the British chef caused more harm than good, not just once, but twice. Oceana's legal counsel, Charles Rothermel, claims the restaurant first sued Ramsay and the show's producer in 2011 to prevent the episode from broadcasting. The proprietors were unaware of how Oceana would be shown when the program was being shot, according to Rothermel, and felt deceived in a way that the episode was edited. Despite this, the show was broadcast and a deal was struck in which the production company committed to only using the video from the episode in the future, provided they paid Oceana and included the most up-to-date information about the eatery's current state. All was well until August 11th, when an official British Facebook page connected to the US version of the show, Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, revisited a horrific scene from the 2011 episode. The clip, which has since been removed, shows Ramsay vomiting after smelling some old shrimp that had been supposedly gone rotten in the restaurant. The post was captioned, No wonder this restaurant is failing. Ocean Grill and its parent restaurant group, Cajun Conti, have launched a second complaint against Ramsay and the show's producers, seeking damages for the post's alleged harmful impact, as well as an injunction against any future defamatory information being published. Rothermel told Today Food that the comment is the paramount concern in the lawsuit and the basis for this defamation claim, as it suggests that the restaurant was not only failing in 2011, which he and his clients say they were largely fabricated in the first place, but is still failing today. Quote, there was an immediate viral threat. The restaurant received many phone calls, emails, and direct inquiries from customers, saying, what's going on? This isn't the Oceana that I know and loved. Rothermel told Today Food, the thread, which has nearly 2,000 comments, 10,000 shares, and a million views, was removed a few days after the lawsuit was filed in the Orleans Parish Civil District Court. Quote, the comment is so false. The restaurant is sustaining, thriving, and actually expanding. Rothermel reiterated, affirming that since the 2011 episode first aired, Cajun Conti Group has opened two new restaurants and is in the process of opening another. Ramsay and his team could not be reached for comment, but Rothermel and his clients remain hopeful that justice will be served. He was even sued by his own business partner. Rowan Siebel has sued Gordon Ramsay for their now-closed Fat Cow restaurant, alleging that Ramsay intended to turn it into GR Roast, which is now in its place. According to Eater LA, Chef Gordon Ramsay is being sued for $10 million by his business partner Rowan Siebel over the Los Angeles diner Fat Cow. They opened the gastro pub at The Grove together a year and a half ago, but it shuttered in February due to a lack of trademark rights. Ramsay stated that he was only aware of it after the restaurant had opened. Siebel, however, said around the time of the close that Ramsay knew about the trademark name from the start and claims he deliberately mishandled a trademark problem. Siebel alleged, quote, Ramsay formed a new company with new partners and then secretly negotiated a deal with his Los Angeles landlord to allow a new restaurant, GR Rose, to operate in the Fat Cow space. GR Rose will supposedly appear on Fox's Hell's Kitchen while Siebel is not a partner in the new restaurant. Ramsay's camp has responded by saying, quote, We're surprised that Mr. Siebel has the audacity to file this ridiculous suit when he and his team were responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the fat cow and spectacularly mismanaged it, resulting in a string of financial and legal issues. Gordon Ramsay and his team immediately stepped in and tried to resolve these issues, but Siebel refused to engage in any meaningful conversation, rendering the restaurant unsustainable. Throughout, Ramsay was very forthcoming with Siebel that any future plan for another restaurant partnership in Los Angeles was impossible due to Siebel's refusal to operate and fund the restaurant properly, sadly including Siebel diverting funds from the business. Ramsay is no stranger to legal action, having previously been sued by Fat Cow employees who claimed that they were paid less than minimum wage or none at all. 
That is all we have for you all today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below, and I'd love to help you. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this, and much more. We'll see you guys next time. Take care until then. Goodbye, everyone.